our digital gauge cluster. Uh, uh, fair warning, if uh, customizing to this extent is not for you, uh, don't do it. So, we've already disassembled our gauge cluster as you can see. And we've broken it down into the components that we're going to use and not use. Uh, right off the bat, this clear piece is going to go back in here. So we're going to use that. This is our printed circuit circuit board thingy. Circuit paper thing. It's like a keyboard. <laughs> Anyways, this is going to be our, uh, our map for uh, like which wires are turn signals and which wires are uh, high beams and fuel and all that. So uh, this is just going to be our map. The lens, we're not going to use the lens anymore, but we're not going to throw anything away. We're going to keep it because it's all still good. Uh, relatively uh, this is the circuitry inside of the gauge cluster now you can be careful you don't really have to be too careful it's not that darn sensitive it's just electronics but if you're if you plan on maybe possibly reusing it in the future uh, just hold on to it and put it away somewhere uh, I'm not gonna lie, I've already made my, my backing plate. But, uh, yeah, it went from that to like that. And so, this is just that. It's like a foam board material. And, uh, pretty pretty easy to make you can make it out of any material you want I found this cool leather so that's what we're going with and then our lens cap area these are what we're going to use to make our gauge cluster now uh, I can understand that this is a little bit overwhelming and you don't want to go this far uh, you could take all this out and just get you a cheap gauge cluster maybe from pick and pull or don't do this at all and just watch the video and say that's kind of cool which is all right with me too <laughs> all right let's get to work so one of the requirements for this whole thing was that this thing be totally removable i want to be able to pop it out and take it with me that way one no one steals my gauge cluster and two, uh, whenever it's too hot to charge, it can just bring it inside and charge it. Um, so one way we're gonna do that though, is with this little guy. And this is a flat USB charger that will attach to the back. And look how thin that is. It just kind of wraps around and plugs right in. Kind of neat. Let's install it real quick and I'll show you what it looks like. Alright. There she is. And so that's gonna... That's gonna make it a... Uh, pretty much a wired unit now. As long as it's in the case and plugged in, it's, a, it's one wired unit so whenever you go to put it in you'll put your tablet in and then put the charging piece on the side here so hopefully uh, hopefully I can get it to kinda click in with like a magnet I think that would be kinda neat this is our fuel gauge I won't lie the housing it has is a little bit goofy and I've already kind of taken it apart to uh, see what I can do to make it different 
And I think ultimately what I'm probably going to do is just cut a, uh, a little square out and mount it from behind. So revision one had that big thing sticking out and uh, part two is gonna have it sitting in behind like that. We're gonna have that uh, just just beyond the, the leather, not not flush, just sitting behind the leather piece. On the back side, we may cut out our area like a so the circuit board is more flush mount on the back side. But uh, yeah, coming along. This is this is kind of like what we do. It's like if you remember art in high school times 10 uh, and for automotive it, it's it's an art project you know what I mean so what we've done here is we traced out our gauge cluster uh, backing we're gonna cut this out and then we're gonna wrap it in our leather and uh, this time I think we're going to reverse mount the fuel gauge so it's in behind the tablet still has to be in front so that you can remove it but uh, yeah that's gonna it's gonna look kind of neat when we get done with it So let's talk a little bit about the program that I run on the tablet. It is called uh, Torque, T-O-R-Q-U-E, and uh, it costs about three dollars and is well worth it. If that's the app that you run. Uh... So here is pretty much our final product. And yes, I know it just kind of looks like a tablet's in there, but a tablet's in there uh, and it's kind of made to fit now. It's not just kind of flopping around and all that. So uh, we'll, we'll take off our section so you can see. And you can tilt it forward and pull the tablet out push it all the way back in next we'll show you what it looks like when it's hooked up in the truck alright guys so we have our our little cluster here we put together uh, it's turning on right now uh, just kind of sitting there uh, whenever you're hooking up your fuel gauge if you get this particular one, I think with any fuel gauge really uh, it, it has red wire black wire green wire basically you're looking for uh, 12 volts whatever it's switched on ground and the signal the red wire with a yellow stripe is your 12 volt uh, switched your yellow wire with the white stripe is your signal for the fuel, fuel gauge and black wire is ground so red to red yellow to green and black to black and uh, yeah this tablet is a sprint tablet so it likes to want to update every time you restart and it's really annoying but it's okay for what I paid for it it's uh, it's worth it Get rid of that all right so we're gonna 
go ahead and start the vehicle. So it's already connected to the Wi-Fi that's uh, here. Looks like a tablet sitting there, which is what I was going for. Uh, if you want to flush mount the tablet so that you know it looks more in there, you can do that. Uh, just remember though, you don't want to uh, let it charge while it's really hot, and you don't really want it to be in direct sunlight because you'll fry it. So just be careful with it, you'll be fine. Looks like I have about 72% of fuel left. I like that little thing, it was about $17. Not bad, not bad. In the next video, our placement for our turn signals and our bright lights indicator. And we'll figure out something that we're gonna put right here.